good morning and welcome to the Chronic Pain Call-In Show, the only show about chronic pain where you can call in live. I'm your host, Joseph of Borg. I'm here every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. Pacific Time. I look forward to talking to you. There we go. Welcome to the Chronic Pain Call-In Show. I'm glad you could make it. I'm Joseph of Borg, and I just remembered to turn my mic on. That'll probably help things. Uh, I'm just chilling this morning, Sunday morning, here from Las Vegas with my coffee. I hope you're having as good a day as possible. I'll just kind of let you know what's going on in case this is your first time coming in. Uh, I call myself Joseph of Borg because I've got a computer attached to my spinal cord that lets me walk. Um, I started making videos years ago to help other chronic pain patients as I was going through pain management. I discussed, uh, I've made videos discussing radio frequency ablation, spinal injections. Uh, I ended up coming to the point in chronic pain management that I got a spinal cord stimulator. Uh, When you get to that point, which is pretty much the end of chronic pain management's menu, you generally either go chronic uh, spinal cord stimulator or you go with a pain pump. Uh, Some people get both. Um, So barring the pain pump, I have pretty much taken chronic pain management Uh, as far as it can go. Um, I know with a lot of people who have success with spinal cord stimulators aren't out on the internet anymore, which can give the impression that they seldom work because you can't find a whole lot of stories about them uh, that are successful. Obviously, the failures uh, still tend to be in the support groups. I told myself before I got my trial that... uh, If I was a success story, I was going to stick around on the internet and try and shepherd others through what is a really unique process. Uh, I also have uh, several Facebook pages. Obviously, I have this one called the Chronic Pain Call-In Show. I've got one that's more of a vlog style called Surfing the Pain. Uh, I also have one dedicated just to spinal cord stimulators called Spinal Cord Stimulator Success Stories. So if you want to check that out, uh, obviously feel free to check that out. It is a one-man show, so I try and run it as I go. Uh, And uh, I try to come on every Sunday morning, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So... It looks like I don't have a whole lot of lag. Looks like things should be running as good as they're going to run. So, uh, don't know what I should tell you guys about this morning. Let's see, what should we chat about? I know what I'll share with you guys. Having uh, both cervical and lumbar issues, I have my spinal cord stimulator for my lumbar issues because they were uh, deemed inoperable. right out of the gate so I guess in a way I was lucky I got to go through pain management and fast forward since options like a fusion weren't really uh, something that was on the table for me Um, recently I uh, took a course of steroids I'm an asthmatic we had some bad air quality I might have caught a respiratory bug whatever the case may be and uh, they put me on some prednisone I have been a little bit bummed out because I had hoped, I mean, I know you can't really, if you have to, you have to, but for the most part, you really can't uh, live on large doses of steroids continually. That has its own set of problems and complications. I was really kind of hoping that uh, The steroids with their anti-inflammation properties would maybe help with my chronic pain just a little bit, but uh, sadly I didn't see any improvement. I was hoping maybe when I'm getting ready to take a road trip uh, in the spring, my wife and I plan to drive up to Reno to see how I can tolerate uh, a drive of that magnitude from Vegas to Reno is about an eight hour drive Um, with lots of breaks. We're hoping that... uh, you know, I want to see what my window of comfort, if if you will, is for how long I can ride in the car because we recently got a newer car. Uh, thanks to a really good friend of mine from my church, uh, a gentleman named Dana. Uh, 
has gone way above and beyond to uh, be a blessing to us and uh, help us uh, get into a newer car, which is going to be a lot more comfortable than the little two-door sports car that uh, we had been driving. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm going in early next month. I'll be visiting uh, again with my spinal surgeon. He's the one that writes my pain meds that I do take. Uh, I usually take anywhere from three to five pain pills a week, usually when I'm going to physical therapy or I'm going to be riding in the car for long periods of time is when I'll uh, bother to take my pain pills. Uh, quite frankly, it doesn't really matter to me if I'm at a five or a seven or a six, uh, if I'm just sitting on the couch watching TV or whatever. Um, Sorry, I got interrupted there. I had to take my dogs out real quick. I don't really uh, have too much else going on this morning. Uh, it looks like all the tech is ironed out. Uh, I lost the few live viewers I have when I had to let the dogs out. So I'll be scheduling this show in advance from now on. That way you'll be able to log in a minute. I think it's three minutes before the show actually starts. Uh, and that will hopefully help uh, with the engagement to... Uh, get more of you on live. I know Sunday morning isn't always the best time for all of you. So <clears throat> now that I've had a chance to run this through the desktop and see that it looks like it's stable, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to back on out of here since I don't have a whole lot more to share. And uh, with that, Joseph of Borg, one love. I'm out of here.